What's going on guys, Nick here and welcome back to my channel. This is the second and the last part of the Internet Status Indicator project. If you haven't watched part 1 of this project, click the link in the video description to watch it first. Without any further to do, let's get started. This video is mostly the mechanical structural part of the project, which all started with this white box I had lying around. I found the center of it first using a ruler, which I marked to drill a hole for my LED holder and then my LED. After placing the holder and the LED in place, it was time to attach a couple of small wires to the LED. I fired up the soldering iron, pre tinned the wires and soldered them on the LED pins. I was planning to use some heat ring tubing, but the hot glue gun was willing to help, so I ended up covering the connections with some hot glue. After I tuned the back boost converter to 3 volts, the only thing left to do was to finally put the rest of the components in the box. Because I didn't want to solder any wires on my little ESP board, I used some female jumper wires to connect temporarily. So before we end this video, let's do a quick test first. Here you can see my TP-Link router and next to it I've got today's creation. Oh. 
As you can see the blue LED is on which indicates that the connection is fine. Now let's switch on the router and see what happens. Almost immediately the LED switches off because the connection is gone. Let's switch the router back on again. Yep, the LED is back on again. And basically that's it. Now I've got a simple and cheap way to check my internet connection with only a glance. No more router debugging and wire checking for me. I hope you liked the video guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Also, if you have any comments or any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll do my best to reply to all of you. I'll catch you guys in the next one.